Good morning. This is Howard Cormier with the LSU Ag Center Master Horseman Minute. Today we're going to talk about a basic task that most people don't think twice about, but there is a correct way to do it and an incorrect way uh, to saddle a horse. We want to start off with a clean horse. If your horse is moving around, make it move. Bring it back to the saddle. If your saddle is in a tack shop on a saddle stand, uh, that would be a more likely scenario. But when you go to put the saddle on, if your horse moves, abort the saddling, make the horse move around in a circle, change direction, make it move its feet, and then give it a chance to stand still. When it's willing to stand still, then put the pad on, and put the pad a little more to the front than you think you're going to need it. And then lift the saddle, and you want to have your uh, tie straps and, and cinches out of the way. You can hold it uh, as I'm holding it by the cantle, and I have the skirt here, and I will put it on with a twisting motion of my hips. This is something that takes a little practice. Most people can't do this right away, but after a while it does get easier. And you can set it on the horse quietly. Then I will lower these. You want to do that without banging the horse's knees. Next I will take the tie strap down. I won't pull it all the way out, only enough for me to hold the tail. I will reach with my left hand Catch the cinch and thread it through. Go back around again. Now at this point I'll shake it and make sure it's far enough back before I tighten it up. I will tighten it three times before doing some serious riding. Get the back girth and you can put it snug, but maybe to start off with, put it fairly loose, put your breast collar, and I use a little clip. Sometimes, and sometimes I will just buckle it. When you attach the breast collar center strap to the ring, you want to check, make sure your ring is in the middle under your horse. One final thing I like to do is stretch the skin uh, under the, uh, under the uh, girth area. Sometimes, you can, if you do it often enough and consistently, your horse will lift their foot for you with a slight cue. And this just pulls the hair out from under the girth. We hope you've enjoyed and learned a little bit today from your Master Horseman Minute. Thanks for watching.